Working a smooth spider's web, start with a locking L in the center, then place your spokes. Once you have the spokes in place, move the threads out of the way so you can bring your needle back to the front of the canvas without piercing the spokes. <clears throat> Begin your weaving by moving your working thread over two spokes and under one. In a clockwise manner, keep working around. I'm showing this in a heavier thread so that you can see the stitch better. You can always practice with the fat thread until you get comfortable. But the piece uses a silk pearl. Your first couple of rows might be a little wonky, but as you keep going, they'll smooth out. This is illustrated in your guide with still photos and also as a drawn graph. As you work, keep pulling the stitches up into the center. Give it a little tug. And as with any weaving, when you think you have enough rows all the way around, do at least two more. This method builds a really neat mounded button shape onto the surface of your canvas. In this section, I use silk gimp. It's couched and I've stitched with it. When you stitch with it, thread it onto a size 22 needle, tapestry, and just stitch as you would with any other thread. It does have a mind of its own sometimes. It'll twist a little bit, so just have patience with it. Untwist it and keep going. I will say I've not had it not on me, which is awesome. It's one of my new favorite threads, so it will be used again in this piece. It adds so much texture. It's just cool. So these are Lazy Daisy loops worked with the Silk Gimp and then filled with a straight stitch. Next I'm going to show you how to work bullions. If you've worked with me before, you know I love bullion knots. The secret is in the needle. I use a Richard Hemming and Son size one Milner. Come up at A, go down at B, come back up at A, but don't bring your needle all the way through. Hold the eye at the back of the work. Wrap, slide the wraps down, wrap some more, Slide down, lay the needle over the area you want to cover and make sure you have enough wraps. Pinch the wraps between your fingers, pull through. Take the needle back down at B. And there you have it, the perfect bullion knot. Voila!